Hello everyone, welcome to today's class and our title today is Animal Cafe Crisis. Let's move on to language focus. Ilbon. Your average animal cafe in the city doesn't quite provide this environment. So as you can see, I have highlighted your average. So use your average followed by a noun as an informal way to indicate a typical example of something or someone. So, it's actually a giveaway here as well. Uh, typical is also another synonym expression. Uh, so, um, your typical is basically the same as your average. So, potong mosup, okay, in my, opinion, in my opinion. So, example, your average college student doesn't know much about the business world yet. 그의 하에 평균적인 대학생은 아직 비즈니스 세계에 대해 잘 알지 못합니다. Okay, so basically we're saying 거의, uh, 거의 모든 뭐 학... 대학생들은 비즈니스 세계에 대해 잘 알지 못합니다. They can't know. Your average college student, the normal college student, uh, is what we're basically saying here. Or, your average, average boxing gym has a ring, three or four punching bags, and some fitness equipment. So, 당신의 일반 초기인 복싱 체육관에는 반지, 뭐, 소나, Boxing ring, uh, punching bag, 그리고 야간의 뭐, fitness 장비가 있습니다. Um, we also use the opposite. I'll just, I'll just say, I'll just put this in here. Not your average is the opposite meaning, and it's used a lot as well. Example, like, he is not your average athlete, meaning. He is very special and talented and gifted, etc. Athlete. Sorry, he is a very special, talented, and gifted, etc. Athlete. All right, now let's move on to Ibon. And even if they can mean the meet the requirements to register, there's no guarantee that they'll be able to make money as private zoos. Okay, so as you can see here, I have highlighted there's no guarantee that. Now, we use this to caution that there is no way to be sure that something will or will not happen. So, no guarantee. What can we mean by this? Basically, it means 보장 없다. No guarantee. We can't promise you. So, example, when you invest in the stock uh, market, there is no guarantee that you will make money. 주식 시장에 투자할 때 돈을 벌수 있다는 보장은 없습니다. You probably lose a lot of money, to be honest with you, if you're not very experienced in the world of um, 주식, in the world of stocks. Even if you drive very carefully, there's no guarantee that you won't have an accident. So, 아주 조심해서 운전을 해도 사고가 나지 않는다는 보장은 없습니다. So, now let's move on to the language focus quiz. 일본. Your average teenager, hmm. So, your average teenager, hmm. Remember when we talked about your average of something, it was like your typical something. So when we said in the example sentence, uh, your average colleague student, college student doesn't know much about the business world yet. 거의 모든 뭐 대학생은 아직 비즈니스 세계에 대해 잘 알지 못합니다. So let's say your average teenager is always moody. So 당신의 뭐 평범한 10대는 항상 기분이 안 좋아요. 사춘기 때문에, because of puberty. In your average, hmm, there are hmm, hmm, and hmm. I don't 
know, in your average hotel, there are um, showers, TVs, and mini bars. Let's just say. So, 일반 호텔에는 자와기, 뭐 TV, 몇 mini bar가 있습니다. Okay, 3번. There's no guarantee that. Hmm, will, hmm. Remember, no guarantee. 보장 없다. So, there's no guarantee that. Hmm, will, hmm. Let's say, she will, let's say, keep her promise. So, 그녀가 약속을 아, 지킬 것이라는 보장은 없다. 믿을 수 없습니다. 그, 그녀는. Even if you tr try to prevent it, there's no guarantee that hmm, won't, hmm. similar to before that you won't get into an accident. Ah, uh, 하고 해도 사고 안날 거라는 보장은 없어요. All right, now let's move on to the further discussion. 일본. Do you think it will be possible to turn many animal cafes into private zoos? Why or why not? 여러분은 많은 동물 카페를 뭐 개인 동물원으로 바꾸는 것이 가능할 것이라고 생각하나요? 왜 혹은 왜 그렇지 않아요? Uh, personally, no. I don't think it would be a good idea. Um, it's possible, but it's not a good idea. I think many animals can be dangerous. Um, even if they were, example, uh, used to humans, they can still attack. We've seen that with many cases with lions and tigers and bears and whatever in zoos that they sometimes attack the owners, or not the owners, the zookeepers. Um, and if you've watched the Netflix uh, um uh, documentary Tiger King, you'll probably understand why, what I mean. And that was a really good documentary. I recommend it. Um, but I don't think it's a great idea to have animal cafes. Things like dogs and cats are fine because they're so used to being around humans and even they sometimes bite, scratch, etc. But yes, to get wild animals and then turn them into uh, a area that's very small already, I don't think that's a great idea in my opinion. Although the article doesn't mention it, animal cafes with non-mammal species such as parrots and turtles will still be allowed to operate in Korea. Why do you think they were treated differently? 기사에는 언급이 없지만 앵무새와 거북이와 같은 포유류가 아닌 종의 동물 카페에는 여전히 한국에서 영업이 허용될 것이다. 것입니다. 그, 그, 왜 그들이 다르게 취급되었다고 생각하나요? I think because they are also being kept as pets. Like a lot of people do own parrots and they're very loud, but they do own parrots and some people own turtles. They are quite harmless to people, I imagine. And therefore, I think they would be allowed. If you get like things like mice, hamsters, gerbils, etc., other pets, fish, example. I think they are fine to go into a cafe uh, style uh, um, sanctuary or whatever you want to call it. Uh, however, if you're trying to bring in big animals that will that are clearly dangerous, that is the stupidest idea I've ever heard in my life. Um, but you know, as long as is as as, as long as it's not a snapping turtle, if you've ever seen a snapping turtle, snapping, S-N-A-P-P-I-N-G, turtle, look those up. Those things are very dangerous. Uh, so as long as it's not a snapping turtle and just a normal kobogi, uh, a normal turtle, then you should be okay. Um, parrots usually don't attack humans. Uh, some birds do, but parrots, I think, are pretty safe. They talk as well, so that's kind of fun. Anyway, that wraps it up for today's class, and I'll see you on the next class. Cuddly. Cuddly. Domesticated. Domesticated. Socialized. 
socialized. In the wild. In the wild. Simulate. Simulate. Grace period. Grace period. 